All right, everybody, 2021 is finally here. And as promised, I got more videos for you. I don't know about you, but 2020 was absolutely crazy for me. So I decided to make a video to wrap it all up. This is my 2020 wrap up. So I want to share with you a story about how the year 2020 changed my life forever. And I know it probably changed yours too. Actually, if I really want to tell this story, I need to turn the tables all the way back to the fall of 2018. But basically, in the fall of 2018, a soon-to-be good friend of mine, Mira Rubin from Sustainability Now, met me when I was in Pennsylvania for the first time building an Earthship greenhouse in the backyard of Will Vogler, the pioneer of the Tamaqua Sustainability Project, which uh, is a spearhead project in the uh, Philadelphia region of Pennsylvania for Earthship projects if you want to check it out. And Mira Rubin does some great coverage of all sorts of cool topics, and you should check out Sustainability Now as well. Her podcast is awesome. Anyways, she had done an interview with Hajar Gibran uh, from Dome Gaia, the nephew of Cahil Gibran, who wrote the Prophet book. And uh, Hajar is an inspirational man who came up with the idea of creating a DIY building technique, which now is the basis for his company Dome Gaia, where his crew travels the world teaching people how to build aircrete dome houses, which are supposed to be the most cost-effective way to get yourself under a roof uh, with the least amount of labor-intensive work involved and it's inspirational and they're super cool. But I had no idea about them in 2018. After the interview, she said, you need to go to a Dome Gaia workshop. So it took a whole year after that, the end of summer uh, 2019, where I was able to go and take one of these courses. And it was also an opportunity to go on an awesome road trip, which I was very blessed to be able to do. And so I converted my Toyota Prius into a camper and I traveled from New York all the way west down to the southern uh, tip of California and drove into Mexico, into Baja, Mexico. Secretly, I knew that maybe with my skills, they would need someone to continue building uh, after the course was over. And so I went and it was amazing. And like I had expected, the instructors were great. You know, we got along well and I said, hey, I really want to learn how to do this. And I know that that doesn't happen in 10 days. You know, this is something you gotta live, breathe, eat, sleep, and I wanna stay. So I, at that time, had made a deal with uh, the owner of the structure that was being built, the client that they were working for, and the teacher from Dome Gaia, uh, my dear friend Ignacio from Acuna Designs, if you wanna check him out. He does some incredible stuff and uh, is a really inspirational person who has also traveled with Dome Gaia around the world building these uh, really crazy dome houses that I also learned how to build. and. Anyway, so I ended up staying with Ignacio in Baja and learning for another two months uh, on the site building. And that really cemented the educational experience for me. After that, I was inspired to return. I said, I'm not gonna drive all the way back to New York. That's crazy. I wanna come back and I wanna finish this. They were gonna take a break for the winter and they were gonna come back and do the finishing hit on the house. I said, great, let's split up. I'm gonna go home to New York for the winter. I'm gonna come back. And as long as I could figure out a way to leave my car on the West Coast, then it won't be that big of a deal. I'll just park my car at a friend's house and then I'll come back. This is essentially where the story actually uh, begins for 2020. I know that it took a while to set it up there, but from learning about Aircrete Domes, getting you to understand how it's been a long journey to get to that point and, and especially to understand why I had to return because I had left my car. So just imagine yourself in my shoes. I had just finally broken through into this incredible uh, you know, opportunity to return and learn how to finish the house that I had built. You know, finishing is uh, a whole nother series of skills than just building. You know, obviously finishing is where you really make it look nice and you put the cabinetry in and you get to learn how to plaster the inside of the walls and do the floors and paint it and waterproof it and all of these things, right? So I really wanted to go back and learn that. I started to ask them if I could film this experience. So I linked up with a photographer friend of mine and we were gonna go back to Baja Basically, I was gonna fly, pick up my car, which was in San Francisco, and drive to Baja. Simple as that, right? 
my friend flies out with me, we drive my car back down, I'm gonna be there for you know a few months building, and he'll be there for maybe a month of that, and he'll be documenting it, and then he's gonna return. And so, you know, everything was lined up. And then that was when news of COVID-19 started to really change what Americans considered to be safe travel. My photographer would not be able to come because the flight that I took that got me to San Francisco was basically one of the last flights that was considered safe. Anyways, when I landed in San Francisco, um, I was basically hitting the ground running. You got to understand, like, I had plans to drive to New Mexico, to Taos, where um, the Earthship community was, and spend some time there. Part of documenting the journey was going to be showing everyone, you know, my background, where I came from, you know, what I've learned, and the people that I've met in the Earthship community. And so all of a sudden that was cut off. Then I was getting, you know, emails and I was trying to follow up with people um, in Mexico and they were saying, we don't really know if it's a good idea for you guys to be coming down here. You know, countries might be shutting down their borders. Uh, I mean, God knows what's going to happen if you come down here and then you get stuck. How are you even going to be able to get in? I mean, it was literally crazy. I didn't know if it was going to be the apocalypse. I was on the phone the whole week just contacting my friends, my family, my teacher, um, trying to make sure that I made the right move because I had just landed, I had just reunited with my car, but I was at a friend's house. I wasn't moving there yet. Little did I know. All right, so that was part one of my 2020 wrap up. Uh, you gotta stay tuned because the story just gets crazier. I'm gonna be explaining how I ended up living in San Francisco for five months and spending my quarantine time building a fairy garden cottage and then after that I got invited to go do a timber frame cabin build in the mountains of New Mexico so you really don't want to miss out be sure to subscribe because I would love to share the rest of this beautiful story with you